Well, in addition to uh, creating questionable content on uh, YouTube, I also really enjoy uh, uh, following some uh, YouTube uh, content creators. And among them are a, an adorable young couple. The, uh, their names are Ava and Harper. Ava is Calabrese and uh, from the Calabria region of Italy. And uh, Harper is, um, he is a um, um, North American guy. <laughs> And together they do really good video. They obviously have some great uh, uh, experience uh, with both uh, content creation and also with editing. Their their stuff is spectacular. Really, really good. Um, and I really enjoy them. They're uh, they're wonderful, uh, wonderful folks. Uh, from what I can tell, at least their online personas. You can find their content, uh, their channel link below, right down there somewhere in the. Uh, in the under part of the thing here but it's called pasta grammar and uh, i really recommend that if you want to be entertained and educated that you um, you check them out they uh, kind of focus their their videos around uh, kind of the interplay between the uh, culinary traditions of uh, calabria uh, that that eva presents and also the uh, uh, harper who presents himself as clueless as to food and cooking but I don't really believe that's true. Anyhow, uh, just recently they uh, put out a, a really interesting video on, uh, on a Sicilian orange cake, pane d'arancia. I know I've butchered that. My pronunciation of, uh, of Italian is so bad, but getting better. One of the better. things I'm not going to do in uh, this video is actually give you the recipe because it's not my recipe. It's Ava's recipe. And uh, please uh, find the link down there somewhere below or if you're using the, uh, this video, viewing this video on something like an Apple TV that doesn't have the links enabled, uh, take a look at, uh, look for pa Pasta Grammar uh, on uh, on YouTube and uh, you will find their recipe. Uh, they deserve the views, not me, because they're the ones that uh, that researched the recipe that probably tried it out five times before they uh, before they actually put it online and everything. So go look at their recipe. Um, anyway, it's a Sicilian orange cake. It's really interesting uh, recipe because it uh, starts with a whole orange which is thrown into a blender and uh, mixed with some sugar and some eggs and two kinds of flour and uh, and then baked and it's a delicious, delicious cake. Um, the problem uh, that I had with it is that it had um, a bunch of sugar in it. And, uh, you know, being a diabetic, I try not to, uh, to put too much sugar into my body because I, I like, you know, protecting the little bit of pancreas uh, function I still have. So, uh, you know, this is not a keto version of their of their recipe that I'm presenting, but it is a lower sugar version. So, uh, to start with, um, uh, I live in North Florida, where thanks to climate change, our citrus crops are doing a lot better than they used to do in the past, and. Uh, I have a volunteer juice orange tree in my backyard. Well, I've got a, quite a few citrus trees in my yard, but uh, one juice orange tree that still had, uh, when I did this recipe yesterday, still had two oranges left on it. And so I, uh, I went ahead and picked one of them. Now, uh, the two that were left were way up high. I have a fruit picker. It wasn't quite long enough to reach those, uh, those oranges, but, uh, but I went ahead and, uh, and taped a, another stick a walking stick onto the end of my of my orange picking my fruit picking pole and uh, was able to get one of those oranges down now the orange that uh, Harper and Ava used in their in their video I suspect was a navel orange because they didn't talk anything about seeds so I suspect it was a seedless orange uh, Florida juice oranges are not seedless <laughs> they're full of seeds so the first thing I had to do was uh, after I you know washed it off and and by the way this is an organic orange it's not you know what you would see in a typical grocery store in North America it has some you know brown spots on it it has some discolorations but um, you know it's it's uh, the Florida juice oranges are delicious and uh, I figured I'd give it a try anyway so I went ahead and uh, you know cut the orange in two and uh, used a demi toss spoon to scoop out the uh, the uh, seeds and um, then I uh, went ahead and uh, 
put the whole thing in. Well, I cut it into smaller pieces first because I wanted to make sure I got every seed out. My my grandma and my mama, uh, Calabrese, uh, both of them, uh, they, um, they would say that it was bad to uh, eat fruit seeds because they thought fruit seeds had poison in them. Uh, so they, I think my mama would say cyanide. Um, and don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I know they're bitter and they don't taste good. So uh, I don't, uh, I try not to eat too many fruit seeds. I save them for the making more fruit trees, <laughs> which we can use a lot more of in this world because there's a lot of hungry people. People ought to be planting fruit crops, fruit trees, and uh, more fruit trees, less ornamentals. Political a discussion over. Well, I cut them up uh, in their smaller pieces to make sure that I got every seed out, threw them in the, uh, I don't have a fancy uh, uh, Vitamix uh, blender like uh, like the, uh, like Harper and Eva seem to have in their video, but I have a pretty good food processor that a friend gave me. Uh, thank you, Tina. And uh, I uh, I went ahead and processed the uh, the orange and made it, it made it into a paste, a, a kind of a chunky paste. There's a, you know pieces of small pieces of orange peel still in the uh, in the in the soup. Uh, then I uh, went ahead and uh, and uh, took uh, three eggs. And this is where the you know things get a little weird because uh, when the recipe that Harper and Ava presented, three eggs. Um, who knows? You know who knows what the size of eggs were. Now in a commercial bakery. When people use eggs in, in baking, uh, they break eggs into a, a big measuring container. And uh, so it really doesn't matter if the eggs are smaller or larger because you're doing it by volume or by weight in some cases. Everybody's three eggs are different sizes. My eggs come from my uh, my neighbor who uh, has, a, has a chicken eggs. coop. Now the next weirdness is that I am not using regular sugar because uh, it's not good for me <laughs> and probably not good for you either to be, to be honest so uh, I use uh, I use a sugar substitute it is a, a blend of monk fruit and erythrol you can uh, learn more about it if you um, if you uh, uh, go ahead and google um, for monk fruit sweeteners um, it's a uh, non nutritive sweetener and uh, it uh, is about the closest thing to sugar as far as uh, baking and um, and cooking uh, that I've been able to find so far. I actually made some uh, some panna cotta uh, a couple weeks ago with uh, monk fruit, uh, and you couldn't tell the difference. Uh, but it behaves slightly different, and you'll see when I pour the sugar uh, into the eggs that a little bit of dust puffs up. Um, and uh, that normally doesn't happen with sugar. So um, it's a little bit different. And, uh, you know, even though I, I whip these up, I started out using a whisk thing. I'm just going to whisk these up because I'm pretty good at whisking. But um, and then I eventually, you know, moved to a uh, electric whisk, a uh, uh, hand mixer with a whisk on the end of it. And uh, and even then, I don't really think I got it as fluffy and as... Uh, as um, bubbly as what uh, as what Harper did when he uh, when he did his mix, but you know I thought I'd do the best I can. I figured if it wasn't going to work out, I'd go ahead and um, call a day and not put this video up. So I did. Um, now uh, uh, the rest of the recipe is pretty much the same. I uh, after I mixed everything up, I uh, added the. Uh, added the uh, orange paste, I added a bunch of butter as per their recipe, um, and I added flour and baking powder and almond flour, all of which I, I kind of sifted through a um, through a little strainer that I have, a little mesh strainer, and uh, I don't use a sifter, but a mesh strainer seems like it works pretty good. You just tap the, tap the side of the thing and everything comes out. I actually uh, did it twice to make sure that um, that uh, everything uh, went through like it was supposed to and uh, then at the end um, I mixed everything up and I put it in a buttered floured spring form pan just like uh, Harper did in his video. Uh, however, uh, mine was a, a little bit um, thicker. My batter was a little bit thicker than the batter that uh, Harper uh, presented in his video. I think that the reasons, well, there's a couple reasons. Uh, one might be that the number of eggs I had were, were uh, or the amount of eggs I had were a little bit different because maybe my eggs were a little bit smaller than the ones that uh, that he used in his uh, in his uh, 
Pane, but uh, I, um, I, I don't know. And the other option, the other possibility is the sugar, because uh, you know, as you know, if you do baking, that sugar is a uh, considered a liquid ingredient when you're cooking. It actually, uh, you know, actually melts a little bit and turns into a little bit more of a liquid. Um, I don't think that. Um, that the monk fruit erythrol sweetener does exactly the same thing. In fact, I know it doesn't. I uh, I make uh, I make uh, different uh, liqueurs uh, from citrus peels uh, pretty frequently, and other things too. Uh, and uh, the last few years, I've been uh, making both uh, uh, liqueurs where I've mixed the uh, the bitters that I've made with the lemon peel and the alcohol uh, with uh, simple syrup made from sugar and water and with a syrup made from erythrol and uh, monk fruit uh, sweetener. And I have noticed that uh, that it's a lot harder to uh, to get the um, the erythrol to go into solution uh, than it is sugar. And also when you look at the uh, bottles of erythrol-based um, liqueurs that I, I've made um, over the years, you'll find there's a little bit of a layer of, of hard stuff in the bottom where they where the monk fruit and erythrol is precipitated out. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's not exactly the same, and that's probably it. And I think the next time I make this, I'm gonna add one more egg, <laughs> just or maybe a little more butter. Can you have enough butter in a, in a cake? I don't think so. But uh, do something to try to make it just a little bit more liquid and to flow a little bit uh, better. So when I put it into the springform pan, and I, uh, you know, I try to tamp the, the pan down, as uh, Ava showed in the video, uh, it did not flow like it. Like theirs did, so I ended up using a spatula to uh, to kind of even things out, and um, so then I baked it, and uh, it came out um, a little bit uh, didn't rise as much as I hoped it would, uh, and again it may be because of, you know because of the ingredients because I didn't whip the eggs enough who knows, so it was a little maybe a little denser than theirs or at least it wasn't as as tall as theirs were was and maybe my springform pan was a little bigger I'm not sure but uh, but anyhow it turned out amazing now I uh, you there is a uh, monk fruit erythrol blend that uh, I use granular uh, the granular version with the eggs but there's also a, a powdered version of it powdered sugar version of it equivalent and I thought I had some I was gonna make some uh, orange syrup I had some orange juice from uh, some other oranges we taken had we had picked from the tree earlier and juiced uh, last week and I was gonna make a syrup uh, that didn't work so instead I went ahead and I poured some uh, some orange liqueur on the finished cake to uh, moisten it up a little bit and that wasn't bad <laughs> so so in general uh, it came out well I've shared it with a couple neighbors and uh, I've shared it with my uh, my lovely wife and they they all agreed that it it wasn't terrible and they'd, they'd uh, like me to make it again so I'll, I'll try that one more time but anyway that was it uh, thank you Ava and Harper for a, a wonderful recipe um, and I hope that uh, that you know you continue to post beautiful things in the in the future uh, I'm really really enjoying your work and uh, I uh, I'm learning from you a lot both uh, both from your uh, presentation style uh, from your recipes and uh, and from your videography and editing it's uh, it's your you're like my master class so thank you so much hope that everybody's having a good day hope that you try uh, the uh, the the pane d'arancia uh, whether it's uh, the uh, sugary version that Harper and Ava did or uh, my less sugary version with monk fruit and, uh, and uh, erythrol. Well, thank you again. Uh, have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the future tense.